This is Max Rothman with BevNet. We're at Expo West here at the Vertical Water booth. I'm with Rudy Qualiolo, Ex Executive Vice President of Vertical Water. How are you doing, Rudy? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. So I'm curious, what's going on here at Expo West? What's your intention at this show? We are here to present our brand and our product to the consumers, uh, retailers, and distributors. We're very excited in between the whole concept of maple water because it's the water that comes right out of, out of the trees. And people usually doesn't know about it, so that's why we are here. We want to sample as many people as we can, and they're all excited about it. Now this stuff does come out of the tree, but it's not maple syrup, it's not just pure sap. It's just the water that comes out of the yes. tree, and it's 100% natural, nothing is added, nothing is taken, and it's, it's just like that. Are consumers and retailers and distributors, people that are coming up to you at the booth starting to understand what this stuff really is? They are, they are, and they're excited about it because they, whenever they try it, they expect something different because most of them, they think about maple syrup, so they think that the sap, the water, it's something like thick and syruping, while it's, as you, as you saw it, you try it, it's water, crystal clear, and uh, so they're, they, we are, we're having a very good feedback about it. So they're pleasantly surprised when they try yeah, it. exactly. Okay. So when consumers, retailers, distributors come to the booth and they try the water, they might not be surprised just by the viscosity, the lack of you know syrupy texture to this water, but also the fact that it has nutritional benefits. So if you could, please speak about that. Yeah, sure. It has a lot of nutrition because the soils provide us with many minerals. Most of them are in trace level. The significant amount, amount of them are manganese and calcium which are two minerals that are very good for the bones and it's also very good because it's low in sugar and just at 15 calories for an eight ounces serving size and this is something that uh, consumers distributors and retailers they they don't expect they expect like a high in calorie product which is not so in the wake of the coconut water category's growth there seems to be several other alternative water companies popping up. We've got maple water like yours, and there are a few other companies with maple water. There's also olive water and artichoke water upstairs. There's, I've seen a birch tree water before, and there are several others already in the works. So tell me why you think there could be room for growth for this category of maple water, and then also for all these other alternative waters. I think that there will be room for us because it's a local product. We source our uh, water from the forests that are in the northeast part of the United States. And we are actually giving uh, um, American forest and owners another source of revenue that allow them to bring the, to keep the trees vertical. And uh, this is something that we didn't invent. It. The indigenous people were drinking maple sap since a long time. We just had the chance to bring this product inside the container, play the bottle, and sell it in, uh, in the United States. So Rudy, thanks again for taking some time today. Thank I you, really Max. appreciate it. Seem to have some nice flow going on here at the booth, and yeah. uh, you know it's nice talking with you. Thank you so much.